In a recent development on legalizing crypto, Tunisia's Minister of Finance, Ali Kouli, said during a television interview over the weekend that he plans to change the country's cryptocurrency laws. Bitcoin ownership should be decriminalized, he said, according to an English translation. The proposed law change comes after local media reported that a 17-year-old Tunisian boy was arrested in April for using cryptocurrency for an online transaction. The incident caused outrage in Tunisia's crypto community, with many blaming the arrest on lack of regulatory clarity in Tunisia. Magda Azika, one of the richest women in South Africa and CEO of financial services company Signia, has accused Elon Musk of manipulating prices of Bitcoin. Elon Musk has responded on Twitter saying it's inaccurate since Tesla only sold 10% of holdings to confirm BTC could be liquidated easily without moving market. What do you think? All this drama certainly has brought more attention to the crypto world. In May, South Korea's Financial Services Commission announced that the government is planning to enforce stricter regulatory policies on cryptocurrencies in general. This move comes as virtual asset service providers have been given until September to register with the appropriate state authorities. Crypto exchanges in South Korea were already under pressure even before this new set of stricter regulatory policies. The requirement for real name trading accounts has seen smaller and medium sized exchanges scramble to secure licenses from commercial banks to no avail, at least as of the time of writing. The head of the Central American Bank for Economic Integration said on Monday that the bank will provide technical assistance to El Salvador to implement Bitcoin as legal tender. Dogecoin is aiming for the moon with its hot wheels set for the racetrack. The meme currency is literally going places with a fairly good year so far. And now, the owner of a Ferrari F8 Tributo has gone an extra mile to push Dogecoin on the fast track.